Thanks to Mars. And the scientists have really gone over the top this time. Now they're saying that your average horse is going to shrink down to the size of a house cat. A house cat! Because of global warming. So, we're going to, uh, Look at a few things here, and we're going to have some fun. So go grab a cup of coffee and sit down and enjoy, because, like I said, this is going to be fun. Global warming shrank certain animals in the ancient past, so scientists think it could happen again. <laughs> warm blooded animals got smaller at least twice in Earth's history. And carbon dioxide levels soared and temperatures spiked as part of a natural warming, new study says. Gee, I thought uh, there was no such thing as natural warming. <laughs> University of New Hampshire researcher Abigail D. Ambrosio warned that animals, but not people, could shrivel in the future under even faster man made warming. Really? If it's something we need to keep an eye out for, said the Ambrosio, who <laughs> the new work, the question is how fast are we going to see these changes? Like well, I said, the title is Horses the Size of Cats. <laughs> ah, yeah! Three different species shrank noticeably about 54 million years ago when the plant suddenly heated up. One of them. An early compact horse got 14% smaller, going from about 17 pounds to 14.6 pounds, according to an analysis of fossil teeth in one state's journal Science Advances. These guys were probably about the size of maybe a dog, then they dwarfed, said D'Ambrosio. Uh, what type of dog, uh, Abigail? <laughs> you know, dogs raise range from, uh, on the small side, something like, uh, I don't know, wiener dogs, or even smaller than, uh, the Great Dane. They may have gone down to the size of a house cat. Another creature that contracted was a lemur-like animal and early, that was the earliest known primate. What a vivid imagination. It shrank about 4%, which may not seem like much. It's noticeable because the studies of the animals over millions of years showed it was getting, usually getting bigger over time, the Ambrosio said. Uh, really, you studied this critter for millions of years? <laughs> oh my god! Previous studies have documented a similar shrinking of mammals including another early horse ancestor during an earlier warming about 56 million years ago. Scientists and farmers have also tracked animals such as cows that shrink and give less milk during hotter stretches. Right. Uh, excuse me, Abigail. Humans breed animals for uh, size and stamina and strength. In case you didn't realize this. <laughs> uh, I think there isn't much upstairs with people like you. Dare I say it, uh, Abigail de Ambrosia is an, an airhead. Okay, uh... This latest work shows heating and shrinking are connected over millions of years. 
The results are very significant because they provide another independent test of whether a climate change drives changes in body size of mammals, says Jonathan Black, curator of vertebrate paleontology at the Florida Museum of Natural History, who wasn't part of the study. If we start see patterns repeat themselves, we can learn from that, and we can learn what, from these lessons what will certainly be as important as we think about the possible response of plants and animals future climate change. Both the Ambrosio study and the earlier warning are based on fossil fossils recovered from the Bighorn Basin of Wyoming. By the Ambrosio says it's unlikely the shrinking only happened there. But you can't prove anything. In hotter climates, mammals and other warm blooded animals need to shed heat so they shrink. Uh, that's not how they shred, uh, shed heat. Small animals have more fur, skin or fur per pound than bigger animals, so more heat can escape, making them better adapted for warmer climate. Larger animals do better in cold climates because they have less skin per pound and keep their heat. That is bullshit. Uh, that doesn't mean the animals shrink. Bigger or grow larger. Bigger natural warming 56 million years ago saw temperatures rise 9 degrees, 5.8 degrees Celsius, or more probably from giant belches of methane from dead plants and animals that have accumulated on the seafloor said Princeton University climate scientist Michael Oppenheimer. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Uh, actually, those things do accumulate on the ocean floor, and they basically just sit there, and it actually forms... I don't know, some kind of methane or something that, that could be harvested for fuel at some future date. But that is a lie. Anyway, so. Uh, let's take a look at a few animals that uh, come from hot climates. And judge for yourself if you think they're the size of house cats. Recognize this fellow? This is a hippo, of course. Very, very dangerous animal. They like to sit in, uh, you know, pools and such in Africa, and they leave only their nostrils above water so they can breathe. And if you stumble upon one and you go swimming, they'll kill you. They are a nasty, nasty tempered animal. Are they the size of a house cat? Rhinoceros. Are they the size of a house cat? I don't think so. African elephant. Gigantic animal. They haven't shrank. And yet they live in one of the hottest climates on earth. Now, let's take a look at a relative of the horses that also lives in the same hot climate. And let's see if it's the size of a house cat. Uh, zebra. This is in the horse family, obviously. We all know them and love them. They're the zebra. And they are large animals. I don't know how large, but they are not the size of house cats. And they're not shrinking to the size of house cats. It's not to say animals can't change. Obviously they can, but... Uh, 
and not going to shrink to the size of house cats. This is just utterly absurd. Camo! Once again, one of the hottest climates on Earth, the Middle East. Middle East jockeys, camel jockeys, ride them all the time. Raymond races. Known for their incredible ability to store water and food. Okay. 840, 220, 2,200 pounds for a horse. That's the size of a horse. Now, switching to South America, capybaras. These are essentially rats without tails, but they're huge. They're worried that they're going to move into uh, southern Florida or something. Which may, may be a uh, reasonable concern. <laughs> Cafeveras. They're essentially a big, huge rat. Uh, I, don't know, they're, I don't know how long they are, but they're a couple, couple feet, three, four feet. Big, mean, ugly rat. Have they grown uh, shrunk to the size of a house cat? Nope. Sorry. Uh, so the average cat is 18 inches. Can you imagine a hippo shrinking to the size of 18 inches? Or a Holstein cow? Uh, you scientists, let me explain something to you. We breed animals like this. We breed animals to be large and produce milk and meat for us. And they're not going to get smaller. There may be some variations when we get hot weather, but they're not going to shrink down to the size of a house cat. This is just utterly absurd. A horse is eight foot long. On average. And we're all familiar with horses. We all love them. Well, not everybody loves them, but... They tried putting me on horses when I was a kid, and I hated it. I just thought it felt weird to ride on the back of an animal. I could probably do it now, but uh, at the time I hated it. I'll be honest with you. Anyway, so there you have it. Uh, these people are just going flat out insane. Animals are going to shrink. Why does that make a house cat? I mean, uh, I've worked out a pro proportion, so we're going to take, that's the proportion between, in size, between a horse and a house cat. So, just for grins, let's multiply that by 1.8 inches. Let's see what we come up with. So, these scientists are saying your average house cat is going to shrink to a third of an inch. 0.33 inches. I don't think so. So, these scientists, going back to the main story... Uh, Abigail D'Ambrosio, you're saying that the average house cat is going to shrink to the size point of a third of an inch, which means it would fit on my thumbnail. I don't think so. You are a nutcase, Abigail D'Ambrosio, University of New Hampshire, and you are a whack job liberal. Cokes!
Anyway, it got a little long, but it couldn't be avoided in order to show how asinine these people really are. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. It's <laughs>